Opponents say the proposal is fueled by greed and would do serious harm to businesses in that area. Our Eva Anderson has more. Through the pouring rain, hundreds made their way through the streets of Center City to oppose 76th place. The proposed arena, they believe, will hurt the Chinatown neighborhood. On the sidelines, others attempting to stay dry joined in. Saturday's demonstration was a part of a continued organized effort to oppose the arena, which would sit between Market and Filbert Streets between 10th and 11th on the edge of Chinatown. We continue to say this is a bad deal for Chinatown. Four impact reports released on August 26th suggest that could be the case. The community impact report said while the project would not cause direct housing displacement, there could be indirect displacement through gentrification and loss of cultural identity. The impact reports say in as plain language as impact reports can say that Chinatown will be destroyed. Some who came to the protest said they won't be directly impacted but want to support their fellow community members who live and work in Chinatown. It follows a pattern that's going on in our city where developers want to displace people who they see as insignificant. Others said they worry the impact this would have on traffic congestion. Having um, an arena would just kind of heighten all the issues that we already face. We reached out to the 76ers to see if they had any remarks to share about Saturday's event. A representative said they have no comment. But the team has said no buildings in Chinatown would be torn down and a new arena would generate new jobs and tax revenue for the city. The economic impact analysis found that it could raise upward of $1.9 billion in economic activity. Council member Mark Squilla, who hasn't yet introduced the necessary legislation to build the arena in his district, says city leaders will make a decision on whether to move forward this fall. Meanwhile, the Save Chinatown Coalition says they'll continue to fight. Eva Anderson, CBS News, Philadelphia.